Howdy, my name is Luke Witt and today I will be showing you my Pac-Man game on Jack. My game is very similar to the classic Pac-Man. All you have to do is pick up all the points on the map without getting hit by a ghost. If you do get hit by a ghost, you lose. What you currently see is the instruction screen in my game. To make it more interesting, I have a ghost that will infinitely run circles around the instructions. As you will notice, my game has 8 ghosts that you will have to avoid. My game also has 2 power-ups. There is the R at the bottom of the screen that will collect all the points within its line of sight. That means it will collect all the points within the same row or column. The second power-up is the plus sign that will allow Pac-Man to collect any points that the, go that the ghost run over. In this current clip that I am showing, I beat the game, and in the clip at the end of the video, I lose the game. The largest challenge that I faced while creating this game was to determine how the ghost would move and when they should choose a new route. I ended up using random numbers to choose a path with some paths being weighted heavier than others. Specifically, I chose to make the ghost more likely to continue going straight rather than take one of the side routes because it had better results that covered a larger percentage of the map. You will notice that the ghosts seem to gather around this top right corner. This is due to the inconsistency of the random number generator that I used. I tried fixing this issue by giving each ghost a different starting direction or a different random seed number, but nothing seemed to change. They would always revert to circling around some path within the map. I chose to leave them with this seed configuration because it makes it more of a challenge to reach the power up on the right side of the map. Another challenge that I had to face was the efficiency of calculations. There are so many objects moving that the game actually runs a lot slower than I would like. In order to make it playable, I had to sacrifice how smooth the transitions were so that it would run faster. This video is not the actual speed of the game, it is sped up a little bit so that it would fit within the 2 minute video. Altogether, it is not that hard of a game to create or win. I found that the best strategy to win the game is to go for the power up on the right as quickly as possible while the ghosts are still randomly spread out. Thank you for watching my video.